the, um, the, but, the, but, but the, 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 there's nothing in your thinking that corresponds to that. The first move, which is Kant saying, as it were, to uh, Descartes and his followers, you were not wrong in thinking that a concept of consciousness could play that role. Here, let me show you what it has to be like to play that role. It's radically unlike the concept of consciousness that you thought could play that role. That's the negative um, the negative move that, yeah, 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 that, that yes. matches your thinking. But it seems to me it would be strange uh, uh, to say that here's this important thing that Kant was on to mm -hmm. uh, and that I've left out, but it doesn't well, make any other difference. I can't, it? yeah, I mean, I can't um, um, persuade you that, uh, I mean, independently <laughs> of this <laughs> historical gesture. Let me, let me say one more thing. But, um, we, we've we've um, uh, failed to persuade each other on this <laughs> before. Um, uh, it seemed to me um, plain that uh, when you were expressing your puzzlement as to what it possibly could be that was, according to me, missing, the baby. Uh, you were looking at um, you were looking at things from your standpoint in the first person. Here am I. What have I got? Uh, and I say, well, um, Rudy vis visibly present. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if if you are trying to, as it were, incorporate that um, into something that you might tell yourself. When you're asking yourself, here am I, what have I got? It's going to have to be, there's Rudy over there, or something like, it's going to have to be some um, 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 fully-fledged belief. Well, I've got that. And then you pass on to some other stuff mm -hmm. that you've got, right? So, um, it, uh, I mean, it's really important for, for, for having what I want go missing, uh, that, that um, you be correct in thinking that... Um, Everything that is true about you as, let me say, a Davidsonian subjectivity, this is completely different from a Cartesian subjectivity, uh, is something that you as a Davidsonian subjectivity could, given time and, and, and you know, not <laughs> being thrown by the tediousness of it, uh, rehearse to yourself. Um, uh, whereas I want to be able to say, w m m even when you are not uh, um, um, uh, um, availing yourself of your capacity to form beliefs about Rudy, there's Rudy over there, or, or reminding yourself of beliefs that you've got about Rudy, there's Rudy over there. Uh, it's true about the, David the Davidsonian subjectivity in two senses, right? <laughs> um, uh, uh, the one that's there, the one that I can um, work my way into an understanding of by Davidsonian interpretation, uh, that Rudy is visibly there for you. Um, I see that he's there. That's well, <laughs> but th this is this is you now. Um, uh, um, um, uh, insisting on doing it from the first person. Um, uh, um, oh, it, 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 is that all right? I mean, um, uh, uh, I mean, it's not. It, uh, it's not that I'm cutting loose from the subjectivity. If I say um, he's visibly there for you, he's he's in your field of vision. Yes, uh, I'm 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 keeping contact with the subjectivity, but I'm not purporting to be um, giving in my terms um, something that you could give. Exactly not. It's supposed to be that his dareness for you is a matter of uh, his availability for you to form beliefs which you can then um, rehearse to yourself in that kind of way. But, but, but the dareness is um, it's only, it, the, the beliefs are only potentially in the dareness. So of course when you ask yourself what have I got um, you're not going to come come upon <laughs> the awareness of Rudy, except in the form of the belief that he's there. Yeah. Um, but but why should everything that's true of your subjectivity be such that it's uh, rehearsable by you? Well, it isn't. 
it, it isn't. The, the question is whether uh, th there's something radically wrong with the account of of perceptual of perception that I give. Uh, and in your book, uh, you certainly say that there is. Uh, in fact, there are two things closely related to each thing. other. <laughs> one, one, one is, uh, uh, well, you've got the, this belief on the one hand, and you've got Rudy on the other hand, and you've got this visual apparatus in between, and that's not enough to give any content to the belief, or to give the right content to the belief. And the other thing you say, which is closely related, is uh, no. I, I think I guess I touched really both of them. I mean, the one one is no content, the other is no friction. Uh, uh, but these are almost the same mm -hmm. point. Uh, now you haven't been saying that in the, uh, now. Uh, I, I've been trying to egg you on to. Uh, to say it because it seems to me that that that's wrong. I mean, I could give an account of why uh, I'm led to this belief rather than any old mm -hmm. belief or no belief. Uh, it, it, it seems to me th there's there's a pretty good uh, account of, in terms of how how we how we uh, learn to use sentences like. I see Rudy, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or better still, just sentences like, that's Rudy, or there there goes Rudy. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 we, we, we only get control of such concepts and or the words that express them uh, in, in uh, situations in which we're in contact with the yeah. various uh, things. and, and uh, the, I mean, it takes a long time to tell the story. Still, the story does seem like a plausible story about mm -hmm. how, why it is that we mean what we mean when we say there's Rudy. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, if that seems to be an account that doesn't doesn't uh, involve the baby that's been thrown out. Uh, I mean, it's, it's as plausible as any 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 story about ostensive learning, mm -hmm. uh, uh, w which is pr pretty simple. But, but you have been pushing me in that mm -hmm. direction, as as if you want me to see it much more directly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I've tried this on you before. I'll try try it one more time. Yeah. I, um, uh, um, uh, philosophers used to talk about chicken sexes, uh, and for all I know, what they said about chicken sexes was false. But there was a there was a myth about what chicken sexes did. I mean, one l one learned to sex chickens. Uh, uh, one picked it up from someone else who could sex chickens. The chickens pass on a conveyor belt before the skilled chicken sexer who says, "This one's male. This one's female. This one's male." And, and, and lo and behold, uh, if, you, if you don't um, kill the males, as I guess they do, um, I mean, wait and see whether they grow up. They grow up to be roosters. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you, you ask the guy, uh, so they look different, right? And he says, no, uh, they don't look different. I don't have a clue how I'm telling. Um, I just say what I feel like. Um, this one's male, this, one, this one's female. And, and uh, another person can watch. And it's deeply mysterious. One can get the hang of it in the same kind of way that um, uh, one doesn't.